Howdy folks, Kerbo here. Welcome back to Rolling Hills. It is grass mowing time, as you can see. Turning my biggest field here into hay. And I've just about got it mowed. We're working on the last little bit here. And you can kind of see behind me there, I've got the oats in and got some straw to pick up. So today we're going to be doing a lot of pickup. We get this grass tedded and windrowed and then picked up and put in the barn. We gotta get the straw picked up and put in the barn. Yeah, the chickens are excited. <laughs> chickens are doing well. I need to go sell some eggs. I got quite a few boxes over there. Also got some kind of issue with the uh, box spawner on that little chicken coop I made. That up. The boxes kind of spawn in. I think they spawn in too close to the fence, maybe, and then they get all jumbled up. So I need to take a look at that. Uh, so I got the cornfield to get in, but uh, as you saw in the last episode, Mark and I got the cows all fed. 205,000 liters worth of TMR. Pretty crazy. Uh, up to 41 cows now, I think. The next one's due in the... Uh, Less than a day, I believe. So the cows are doing great. Chickens are doing well. Horses, of course, are doing just fine. And now it's just a matter of maintaining all these animals. And I'm trying to get all this stuff done here quickly because it's not going to be too long before Mark's going to be ready for his giant beet harvest. So that's going to be quite the operation. And looking forward to that. Hit the wrong button. There we go. Lots of buttons. So I'm going to get this grass finished up and uh, go grab the tether. So I will see you in just a bit. Welcome back. We got the uh, little Sammy here screaming away on the tether. Trying to work my way around the edge here. Sammy's getting a lot of hours on it. You can see the service life is just about all the way down. Which I'm doing on purpose. I kind of want it to look beat up and maybe even sound a little beat up. This version of the tractor has got a pretty good sound set to it. Oh, we got a little bit of a fence there. <laughs> it's kind of hard to judge. Again, with the no depth perception here in the game. A little tough. You see I've got some wheat sitting outside the chicken coop there. A little bit of an issue with the trigger. I think I need to make it a little taller maybe. Sometimes it's hard to get the, uh, the cleanup feed to go back into the chicken feed. So a few little tweaks needed on the chicken coop and then uh, I may go, may go release that. We'll see. put my uh, small horse paddock on the mod hub. Of course, they've got like a two-month backlog or something like that. I uh, also put it over on FSUK and then I noticed someone who was saying they won't accept mods on the mod hub if they've been uploaded somewhere else, which seems strange, but I don't know. My uh, first mod that got accepted on the mod hub was uploaded somewhere else first, so Maybe they don't always check that. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably do like I do with the horse paddock. Release it on FSUK and throw it on the mod hub. And if it gets accepted, I'll update the link. But i got some tweaking to do on the chicken uh, coop first. Alright, I kind of got a feel for where the edge of the tether is. So I'm going to be uh, running around the field. I think I'm going to get down here in this corner and then head across there, maybe. Maybe cross this way towards the farm. I guess now I'd have to be going the same direction I mowed. Let's do that. Let's lock on the auto steer and... 
This thing is super loud in my headphones. Can't hardly even hear myself talk. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to get this all tedded up. Then I'm going to throw the wind rower here on the Sammy. Probably bring you back in uh, for a little bit of that. Then it'll be pickup time. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Welcome back. We're uh, coming up on the last of the grass here, getting tedded. Then uh, quite the field. This is a, a pretty good sized field for 200k. And uh, we're running in real time, so you can always take a look at the clock there and see how long it is between little uh, segments here. Got to do some funky turns here because of all the obstructions. And you might also notice uh, pretty low on money. Went ahead and uh, bought those extra cows like I showed you last episode. Uh, but I do have quite a bit of crop. Guess I think I've got wheat and soybeans. And, of course, I've got oats. I need some of that for the horses, but not a ton. So, uh, keeping an eye on the prices. We can make some money back there. And then, uh, eventually we'll be making some money off the cows. They're starting to crank out the milk and the, the manure and the whatnot, so. Hoping to use some manure maybe next planting. We'll just have to see how quickly it gathers up. Uh, but of course I need to buy equipment to use the cow manure. Need uh, a slurry spreader or a manure spreader or both. Alright, I think that is all the grass deaded. Whoop. Let me learn how to drive here real quick. Get this thing folded up. I think I'm going to take it over by the washer. Everything's getting pretty dirty. So, get everything cleaned up after we're done here today. See, I've got the 7R with the mowers over there. Let's pull in around behind here. Crank that around. Try not to run over everything. And we'll just drop that right there. Go grab the rake or the wind rower. Oh, I missed a little bit of grass right there. Oh well. Here in my part of the world, I've always heard these referred to as uh, rakes. Like this rake. I must have hit on the way out with the tether. See if we can only onto that and pull it out of there. Not too much fuss. Or, you know, it could just get stuck in the building. That, that'll work too. <laughs> on back. Just a bit, crank the wheel around. That yeah, boy, it's cotton good on that. That building is good stuff. See all the uh, big fancy YouTubers, they edit this crap out. <laughs> Not this channel, we'll leave it all in there. Alright, I think I'm against the back. There we go. Worked it out. And let's see, this thing, does it need, yeah, it needs unfolded. It's not powered, it just runs off ground power, basically. So let's swing around here. Oh, there's a little bit of grass I missed there as well. Pretty sloppy job of tedding. I'll tell you what, it's good to Good to know I'm such a great farmer. So I'll slow this down. Let's, uh, let's just head across here. Use the old heading lock. 
keep everything nice and straight. And there we go. I'm just going to run back and forth and get this all gathered up. Be ready for the loading wagon. Not too terribly exciting. I could have made, you know, about an hour and a half long episode out of this, but... <laughs> I don't think you guys want to sit here for that. I just don't have uh, I don't have that much stuff to talk about either. So. so I'm going to run back and forth on the field, get this all gathered up, and once again I'll see you in a bit. Well, slowly but surely, getting this field all windrowed, raked, whatever you want to call it. Little uh. The little Sammy, as you can hear, is uh, starting to run a little rough, I think. It's kind of a neat effect. The service is really low. Finally getting a little low on gas. It seems like the fuel usage rate is really low in Farm Sim. Um, I've been farming here for... I can't remember what episode number this is, but, you know, 10, 12 episodes... I've yet to have to put fuel in anything. Yet I've had to service things several times. I don't know, that just seems really imbalanced to me in 19. It's neat that the mechanics there for the servicing. Uh, but you're going to, you know, refuel your tractor a lot more often than you're going to change the oil. <laughs> so, I don't know. It seems like that could be tweaked. Maybe that's something Seasons Mod will do is make that a little more realistic and Maybe even add in the uh, DEF or AdBlue, whatever you want to call it, additive functionality. It's there, it's in the game, there's just no way to basically see the level or replenish it. It just replenishes automatically when you refuel the tractor. So who knows what Seasons will do. I'm hoping they'll take advantage of a lot of the new systems. There's a smart bunch of people. Uh, really looking forward to see what they come up with. So I'm going to make a loop around the field here, kind of pick up the scraps around the outside. And that will be just about it for the hay. I noticed when I started uh, when I started raking, the Sammy could pull this at 10 miles an hour. And now we're down to 9. Let's skip over those there real quick. And it almost sounded like it was running a little rough. Kind of surging a little bit, maybe. Definitely you can start to see some, uh, some paint getting worn off. Which is neat. So I think this tractor I'm just not going to service, and we'll kind of see what happens. But I will need to refuel here the next day or two. <laughs> they run forever. Most of this over here is raked, but I'm just going to clean up the outside, make it kind of one, one row. It's the edge of the field. you got to be careful. There's pretty much a cliff down into the creek most places. So you got to kind of pay attention. And not let the AI helpers get too close to the creek. I've had them end up in the, the ditch over there by the road. I try to make plenty of room so the AI doesn't have to deal with the creek. So once it's in the creek, you're basically resetting it to the store. Not much else you can do. Pretty, uh, pretty steep banks. So next step, uh, we need to get this 7R hooked up to the loading wagon. And start getting this all picked up. So uh, we'll work our way back around here. Then I'll probably go give the 7R and the mowers a bath real quick. Then uh, grab the loading wagon and start picking up. Been a long morning here, picking all this... Or uh, getting this grass all ready to get picked up. I lost my train of thought there. Noticing there's a little bit of grass here and there mixed in with the hay. Not sure what that will do in the loading wagon. 
And then with the baler, it just kind of turns it into whatever you're bailing. I don't know if it just won't pick it up with the picking wagon, pickup wagon. That would be my guess, is that it will just leave the other there and pick up whatever's in the loading wagon. So we're kind of going through here. There's some loop-de-loops here while I was turning around. Let's see if we can get those kind of cleaned up, pulled into a single windrow. Hopefully not getting a whiplash from the track IR. This last little bit right here. That should be about it. Already been around. All right, set back up field. Oh, we got a little bit here. Probably narrow enough. We could just get that with the loading wagon. But while we're here. Let's pick it up into a windrow. Why not? Got so much hay. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this hay. I may check with Mark and see if he needs any hay for his sheep. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to fill both my barns up and then have some left over. Got just a crazy amount of hay here. So, man, let's go ahead and wash this. So Let's get it folded. There we go. Let's head on over here to the wash rack. Yeah, see, we got some grass mixed in with the hay there. It happens. Kind of put this in line to get washed. Like that. Now we need to back up a bit. Box need to grab that tether after we get the 7R all washed up. Come on, Sammy. Wasn't wanting to go. All right. Shut you down. Hop in the. I guess let's wash it and we'll hop in there. So someday, I actually have to use my fuel point. It's all washed up. Pretty dirty. It's going to take a take a bit of washing here. Doesn't look like it's doing much good, but it eventually starts disappearing. Remember the first time I was doing this in Farm Sim 17? I was going all over, making sure I was getting good coverage. <laughs> A few seconds went by and I realized, oh, you don't have to wash. You just have to point and click. It cleans the whole thing. found the uh, John Deere mowers that I used in 17. They're a little bit bigger than this setup. Uh, somebody's converted them over to 19, but they've got a lot of issues, so I didn't end up using those. Didn't take the time to fix all the issues. Alrighty, let's get these raised up. Sometimes that button doesn't do it. Like it has to get synced up or something. Now we're good. All right, let's hold that. Hold that. Like, uh, yeah, Mark left his tractor here. I guess he got a ride back home. 
Raptor's still sitting over there. That's his pallet fork. I actually don't remember. Does this fit in the shed? About to find out. <laughs> like it does. Alright, let's set this guy down right here. Try not to run over Mark's fork. Like his pallet fork has had some use. It's starting to get the paint worn off of it. Let's just stick this back in there. I don't think you can lower this one without it unfolding, so we're just going to drop it. Kind of plop it unceremoniously on the ground. Then my loading wagon is over here because we were using that for the shuttle the hay back and forth between the barns. I know there's no traffic and I still check the road every time. <laughs> Dab it. That must be Mark's weight there. This left crap scattered all over my farm. Tractor's still sitting over there too, I think. For sure I saw the little Ford. Yeah, there's the little Ford. I haven't seen Mark uh, lately. Must have uh, had other plans. I left his tractor and stuff here. And probably out having a good time somewhere. Alright, lower this down. Pick up a little gravel here with some hay. So here's the test. What does this do when we pick it up? Just leave the grass there? That's what I'm guessing it does. Uh, no. I don't see the grass. It picked it up. I don't know if it deleted it or if it changed it into hay. Looks like it did pick it up, though. So we're going to buzz around here. I don't know how long it's going to take me to fill this up, but... We have got so much hay. I'll pick up the wheat. The 6M would pull this, but it kind of struggles on the hills, so... I will typically just use the 7R. Got plenty of power. My poor loading wagon needs a bath too, doesn't it? Everything's kind of getting to that dirty stage where it's going to need a bath. Nine point two hours on the 7R. It's starting to get down to almost a quarter tank of fuel. Oops, I completely missed all that back there, didn't I? A little too casual on that turn. I don't know if I've ever run a vehicle out of fuel on Farm Sim. So I'm not 100% sure what happens other than I assume the engine would stop. Uh, do you get a starting cranking sound? I guess it would be it just flashes in the middle of the screen that you're out of fuel. tends to kind of hold your hand quite a bit. Back in here is where the six would be struggling with the wagon. Pretty full. These windrows are good size. I think it holds 30. Is it 36? No. 32? No. How much does this hold? It must be 34,000. There we go. 34,000. And we're full. Let's 
So I think I'm going to go fill up the far barn first, because that's where we typically pull it out for the cows. So there's going to be a lot of running around. And speaking of this barn, it's so weird watching Mark's videos, and he sees a different barn. There's something messed up with his farm sim install. When we had Seedman on here, we, we had him check, and he saw the normal barn like you're supposed to. You've seen Mark's videos. He comes over here and he's got a he's got the regular little hayloft barn. It's a lot smaller than the red one. So it's got like the eave troughs and stuff, but then this little tiny barn and stuff just floating in the air. It's very, very strange. Alright, I'm gonna probably fail miserably, but let's see if we can get backed up. The uh, trigger that Mark put on the barn is very, very small. You gotta pretty much just run the tractor into the pickup chute. So let's see if we can get bent back around here. Right into the chute, maybe. There we go. Look at that. First try. Every once in a while, I actually can pull off some driving. Not always a terrible driver. So there's 34,000 in the loft. Go back and pick up some more. <laughs> and I got some corn to get in. We got, uh, we got lots to do here. But that was a huge help for Mark getting the cows fed. Appreciate him coming over and helping out. Most of you probably are familiar with Mark DuPont's channel, but if you don't know Mark, go check it out. His channel is linked in the description down below. Great storyteller. He's got a lot of good farm sim content on his channel, so highly recommended. Uh-oh. It's also highly recommended you turn on your loading wagon. When you're yapping away not paying attention <laughs> I lowered it and I didn't turn it on so I got halfway there there we go now we're cooking need to drive straight and we got this made so like I was saying I'm gonna pick up all this hay pick up all that straw get it put in the barn so I think I will call it quits for this episode and next episode, I don't know, we might be harvesting some corn with Mark. We might be harvesting some corn on my own. Uh, I'm not sure on the timing of the beets thing. It might be the start of the giant beet harvest. We'll just have to see. So I appreciate y'all hanging out as always. And I will catch you next time. Take care.